I love the opening shot of the girl with the pumpkin with the makeup on. Great makeup job as well. Fun costume. I like um, the technical, technically, I like the camera choices with the shot when the girl is scared and she's under the covers and you shoot from under the covers. I like that a lot, kind of being in that moment with her. Um, really nice acting. She, This lead actress was so strong and really kind of carried this film. Her father was a great actor as well. Um, I really did think that moment when they were on the bed together and she was the two shot where she was kind of out of focus for a minute and then he was beautifully shot beautiful moment between the two of them just so real it wasn't overdone it was an underdone I just thought it was perfect um, her loneliness without her mom really comes through um, it was so sad when she was sitting there trying to braid her hair and gave up just you could see the loneliness, um, especially with the father sort of now leaving her because he's working late all the time and avoiding the situation. Um, beautiful candlelight reflection on the floor when she builds the, sh the, I guess it's the Day of the Dead, so it's the altar, so to speak. Um, just beautifully shot with the lighting and, and the cinematography there. You get a sense that a dark present is following her, um, and the actress conveys fear very well. The sound design also adds to a lot of the suspense in this. You can tell based off just the direction, her grabbing the picture, um, having that moment with her mother's picture, that she's lost her mother recently. And there's a distance in this family since the loss of his mother and the loss of her father's wife. And it seems like he's using work as a way to cope. Um, like being close to his daughter is almost too difficult because of the memories. And he's not realizing that she needs him because right now it feels as if she's lost both her parents, not just one. Um, she finds comfort in, you know, letting her mother in and, and really diving into these sort of memories. And you get a sense that her father starts to kind of come around over time and realizes, you know, the air of his ways and she confronts this dark presence and, and and realizes through the words of her mother that she's no longer afraid of of it. Bila in literal terms means candle. Uh, candles, specifically white candles, symbolize a sense of pure innocence, um, reborn, uh, protection uh, in a sense. We light them to honor the dead. We have candles in churches um, especially with Dia de los Mirtos, uh, we have prayer candles in which we light um, to honor our dead ones. And so this is what's kind of represented here. We start um, in this dark cadence of a sequence where the only thing illuminating the camera is the red pumpkin glowing this red light. And we end this piece with a single candle lit upon our lead's face as she gets to have these uh, closure moments with her, with the loss of her mother. This is about relationships. This is about family. This is about grief. The struggle to move on um, and move forward. I think what makes this piece so beautiful is this, you know, dark cadence that comes in in this final sequence with this candlelight. She's just walking down a hallway. We have this out of reach sense of loving and needing to have this moment. And it's just, just out of reach, subtle in the darkness. You can see that someone's there, but you can't actually go for it and she stands there with the light like kind of illuminating back in her as she kind of just to, gets to have a moment and flash back to these moments and they're kind of emotionally like you know just gut-wrenching and you really feel what that character is feeling in that moment you're feeling the sense of grief the sense of loss and the thought patterns that come with that and the memories that she shared with this loved one that she has actually a sweet story that's kind of reminiscent of like Pan's Labyrinth meets Coco. It was kind of like that because uh, it kind of shows at the beginning with the symbolism what holiday this is focused on because the girl's makeup looked just like Miguel in Coco. But it really shows the importance of the holiday to this culture.
that how they it's a way for them to accept death and embrace death and not be afraid of it it's something like they said don't live in fear it's kind of sweet the way it came about and brought the father and daughter closer together where they showed that they were mourning still but it was a way to cross the boundaries between worlds so she could get that little bit of closure she needed it made it a really emotional film to watch because you went through her whole journey as she kind of finally learned she don't really have to be afraid of the unknown you can embrace it it's an absolutely beautiful short film the story um welcomes the typical North American viewer who might not know much, culturally speaking, about the Day of the Dead. And it uses Halloween and horror stories and the standard spooky narrative of ghosts. Um, and then I think it manages to transition in a really interesting way to explore themes of family and loss and um, it makes a full character arc as the main character processes both cultural identity and family and traditions and kind of comes to a moment of character growth in a really short amount of time it's a really beautiful story i think it's a great kind of film to show what day of the dead looks like and how it's different from halloween and what we kind of see in mainstream media and it does it in a really beautiful and heartwarming way I enjoyed the, the acting, first of all. I think the performance from the uh, main actors was brilliant. Uh, I also liked the story, the, the character that, uh, following this woman and seeing her um, believing, you know, I think that's what the, the, the message, one of the main messages of the films is also like, you need to keep believing, you need to keep doing what you're doing. Um, I think overall it was very well done and shot uh, with a very strong cinematography and a strong direction that you know you, it never it's never uh, too static, it's never boring. It, it really keeps you there from start to finish.